Good morning. It's uh, Jeffrey Douglas with San Diego Rover. Today is Christmas Eve 2017, and we've just finished up a trip in Joshua Tree National Park. Uh, really great time here. It's, it's on the cold side, obviously. It's winter, and the first night we were here, there was some big winds. Um, but the rest of the trip has been very pleasant. So today, I'd like to shoot part two of our James Brood tent and show how easy it is to take it down. So there are three parts to the James Brood tents. Uh, the first part we shot in Yosemite, which was how easy it was to deploy the tent. This video is going to show how easy it is to take the tent down. And the third video will actually go into detail of the inside of the tent and some of the features that we like and we don't like. All right, so uh, today we're actually headed home. So if we were just moving during the day, what we would do is leave our uh, pillows and our sleeping bags up here. But since we can't really deploy the tent in the garage at home, we go ahead and empty the tent uh, on our last trip. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, the other important things that you'll need to remember to do is to turn off the fan because the fan is solar powered and you wanna make sure that that's turned off and empty out the tent of anything that could be an obstruction to uh, close the tent up really nice and tight. Uh, the last thing you're gonna do is you're going to, um, to take the struts and um, loosen them up, and that's what allows you to collapse the tent. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pack up the bags first and then zip up all of the windows and everything. Uh, at the, the back and the two sides, there is Velcro at the bottom of the doors, and you leave that kind of open, and that's what allows the air to collapse uh, as, you're, as you're taking the tent down. Um, so that's how that works. But all the other um, the windows and everything, you're going to go ahead and make sure that they're zipped up and uh, all tight. Uh, the other thing I'd mention is um, certainly you want to make sure that the tent is nice and dry before you close it up. And if it's not, uh, you'll want to go ahead and, um, and open it up and air it out when you get home. Um, this is the desert, so not too much issue with uh, moisture here. So go ahead and put these uh, away. Uh, they have a nice um, mesh up here so we can keep our bags and everything. Pack these bags up. So once you've got the bags uh, all bagged up, uh, what we do is we keep a flat sheet on top of the mattress. Uh, the mattress has cloth that you can zip off and, and wash, but we just prefer to have a flat sheet on top that makes, uh, keeps that mattress in much better shape. So you come up here, and first thing we're gonna do is make sure that these windows are nice and closed. And you just grab these and you pull and that knocks, knocks it out so you can see that it's ready to go down. And you go over and you basically do the same thing to this side, pull until the strut comes out. And now you're ready to go ahead and, uh, and lower the tent. So I'm gonna go ahead and close up the rest of these windows and then I'll meet you outside and we'll show you how that we collapse it. So the first thing we do is we go ahead and take off the ladder and then in, uh, what I do is basically open all the doors on the rover and that allows me to get up high enough to, to start the process of taking the tent down. It's real important that these doors, uh, there's three of them, have not, they're not velcroed to the bottom here because that's what lets the air out as you take the tent down. So make sure that you've not attached those and uh, then you're gonna go through the process of pulling the tent down, and you're gonna make sure that everything is tucked in nicely before you clip it in. So I'll show you that process now. We start at the, at the front, and then we work our way back. All right, so uh, first thing I can tell you is if you have two people, this is an easier process than one, but it's absolutely possible to do it with one. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to start on the front side of this. And if you'll notice on the driver's side or the left side of the car, there is a handle up here. And that's what you're going to use to bring uh, the tent down towards you. And also what you want to do is push it uh, so it's coming in to the front of the tent correctly. So it aligns that way. So I'll take a, a few minutes and show you how that's done. Got it? So once you have the tent down this way, what you're going to want to do is you're going to clip these in. You're not going to fasten them, but what that does is it gives you a pivot point uh, that when you're done, the jet will clip in. So we're, we're good that side, and I'm going to go down this side. Same way over here, come up and just go ahead and clip that, clip that in. And make sure it's as aligned as possible that direction. And then just work your way down. Make sure the tent's nice and tucked in. So um, notice at the top now there's another pull down. And so what we do there is we use the rear bumper to stand on. And we're going to pull that down and then start working the tent in. All right, another important thing to remember is always put your ladder up uh, before you close up the tent. And um, it's nice to store it up there and not have it rattling around in the car. So you basically just get the tent down to this level and then lift it up. And slide it in. Once you get it down to this level, go ahead and put the, uh, the handle in and then just start working it down, working the air out of it. Anyway, once you've got everything uh, secured, you're going to come back up at the front and you're going to clip those two down. Again, double check everything is in good shape and then click, clip it in and secure it. And now we're at the last one. Again, make sure everything looks good and secure and click it in and secure. So, so that's really all there is to the James Brood tent takedown. Uh, every time we do this, we get a little bit better. Practice is probably gonna make perfect. Um, but uh, certainly a lot easier than taking a, a ground tent down after the footprint and all of the stuff that you have to do with a regular tent. So still very, very pleased with this tent and uh, watch for our third review, which will cover more of the inside of the tent and what we like about the tent and what we don't like about the tent. So this is Jeffrey Douglas at San Diego Rover. Remember, get outdoors and have a wonderful day and Merry Christmas. Bye bye.